All right, so before we kick things off, we only have one agenda item uh, today to uh, discuss. All right, actually, I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Chairman. I think we might have an issue here. Um, okay. I am going to, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I need to announce to everyone attending this meeting, um, I'm going to share the agenda for this meeting because I'm going to kindly request that as many people as possible um, sign off of Zoom um, because I don't believe, I mean, the, the chairman can indicate if he intends to allow um, people from the public to speak at this meeting. But if he does not intend for people um, from the public to speak at this meeting, uh, I would ask that they please join this meeting on YouTube um, by going to this uh, bit.ly link, bit.ly slash PVD meetings, because um, we did not prepare for, I mean, we our, our Zoom uh, licenses only go up to 100 uh, people, and we've met that oh, wow. uh, limit. So all we need to do to... Um, to prevent people from being rejected from the guest list, I would just kindly request as many people as possible. I mean, there's no reason why any attendee would not um, be able to join uh, and observe the meeting um, via YouTube. Um, sorry. Um, via YouTube, um, just by going to bit.ly slash PVD meetings, and you can see the live streaming um, and you'll be able to see all the proceedings. Um, and, and Chairman, please correct me if uh, I misrepresented your intentions this evening. You, you have not. I will add that uh, because we've had public comment at every meeting, uh, I will allow public comment at this meeting as well. You will. Okay. Um, so I guess if if you don't intend to public or request to comment publicly, I would just kindly ask um, that you please observe the meeting from YouTube so that those who would like to enter public comment are able to do so um, when the chair opens up the, the floor for that. Um, but um, right now we seem to be in a good place. We're at you know, 90 attendees. Um, I just don't want... Um, there to be any indication that we didn't let anyone attend the meeting that it, that it wanted to. So I just would plead and I hope that the chairman uh, will back me up and, and uh, we can also have the solicitor chime in as far as um, what um, their advice is. But at, I just will be keeping an eye on that attendee number to, uh, we might need to periodically ask people to please join the meeting observe the meeting via YouTube if you do not intend to enter your own um, testimony verbally. John, I agree. Um, it, it, certainly, we don't want to keep anyone who wants to speak from speaking. So if you are in the meeting on the Zoom and you don't plan on speaking, um, it would be great if you could go to YouTube just so you could allow people who might be trying to get into the meeting that do want to speak, have the opportunity to do so. So certainly if you, if you would like to speak, um, we don't, we're not suggesting that you leave and don't get that opportunity, but if you could let other people have the space if they need it, um, that'd be great. Okay, I'll let the chairman take it from here. We'll just have to keep an eye on that. And again, for those who may have just joined in the last few minutes, if you um, do not intend to speak publicly at this meeting, as the chairman has indicated that he will allow those who want to speak publicly, please go to this uh, YouTube channel where you may view the meeting so that those who want to enter public comment um, can stay on the Zoom uh, and it will be the same access. Everyone will be able to see the same things. Uh, it will just provide the capacity for everyone who wants to um, join the meeting so they don't receive a, a message saying that the capacity is full and they're not able to join. Thank you so much. 
All right, thank you. Thank you, Sean. So be, uh, before we get, get started, just a couple of things. The first is I'd like to have a, a moment of silence in memory of uh, Jorge Cardenas, uh, who was a uh, incredibly active member of this community uh, within the urban core in, uh, in Rhode Island, uh, worked with thousands of families, thousands of students easily, um, just a, a kind and gentle soul. Unfortunately, he passed away uh, last week and uh, he will be sorely missed. So I just want to offer a moment of silence in his memory uh, and to honor his family as well. Okay, thank you. 